All right, it's movie review time again, and today I was able to catch the new movie, Whitney Houston, I Want to Dance with Somebody, which is rated PG-13, and this follows the recent trend of uh, movie <coughs> uh, musical uh, biographies. Of course, in, in the recent years, we've had um, the uh, Respect, which was Aretha Franklin, um, Freddie Mercury, Bohemian Rhapsody, uh, Rocket Man, Elton John, um, Straight Out of Compton, and oh, Elvis, Elvis this year. So it follows this trend, and of course, Whitney Houston passed away. I think it's been roughly ten years now that she's been gone, and I will just say this. Um, you know, if you are like me and you're old enough to remember when she was actually active, when these songs came out, um, when these records came out. Now, yes, you can go to YouTube and place like that and watch the videos and things again, but it still doesn't compare to actually being there when it happened. Uh, this movie certainly brings back a lot of memories um, and, and so forth of being alive during that time and, and witnessing this. So, of course, it goes through uh, her life as she's getting started into the music business and, and as she progresses until the time that she um, passes away. Uh, the acting is, is really good. Um, Naomi, and I, I don't, I'm going to mess up her last name, uh, but she was in um, The Last Jedi. I want to say it's Ackerman, but it's not Ackerman. Um, I'll figure it out later. I'm, I'm just going to say she does a superb job. Uh, she has an excellent future ahead of her um, in her acting career. Um, Stanley Tucci plays Clive James. Clive James is a prolific record producer. He's been behind many of the most uh, famous musical acts um, in the past multiple decades. Uh, he does a good job. Um, and there are, of course, aspects in this movie of, of Whitney's life that unless you're a super fan, uh, you may not be aware of. If you're a super fan, you're probably aware of some of these things um, already. Is it the absolute top of the line musical biography? No. Um, it does have some issues like, I don't know, just it seems like it kind of rushes through some stuff occasionally uh, to get to... Uh, other parts of the movie, um, there are multiple scenes, of course, of Whitney performing, and I think the majority of those are done very, very well. I, I will tell you there were a couple of times, and I, I don't think any of this is uh, the actress singing. Uh, I didn't look that up before I did this. Um, I'm pretty positive that this is all lip syncing, but it's done, of course, exceptionally well. But uh, you know, I certainly found myself sitting there with almost like a lump in my throat uh, just watching this um, and, and some of these songs and performances they do in the movie. So I do think it's a good movie. It might not be, again, the top of the line in terms of movie biopics. Bi bi anyway, biographical movies about musicians, um, but I think it is done well. Um, one thing that I will say, and I try not to ever get on soapboxes, but I'll just throw this out there. Um, it has not been performing very well at the box office. Um, and when you look at the last couple of um, <clears throat> movies like this that were based on female singers, they are just not getting the draw that uh, the uh, movies about the male singers are. <clears throat> Excuse me. Elvis, Rocket Man. And a Bohemian Rhapsody, I think, <coughs> wow, <coughs> either all crossed 100 million or I think Rocket Man was right at 100 million, so it was very, very close. Whereas I know Respect last year, and right now I want to dance with some money uh, at somebody. Boy, this video is going to be all messed up. Um, I don't think either one of them got to 50 mil. I know Respect didn't get <coughs> to 50 mil. And I don't think uh, I want to answer somebody who's going to get to 50 mil. So I really would like to see, uh, you know, if they do some more of these uh, movies based on uh, female singers, I would just like to see them do a lot better in the box office. I'm not sure why they're not getting the pull as their male co counterpart parts. And I'm not refilming this as their male counterparts 
but they're just not for whatever reason. But anyway, I do like this movie. I think, again, it's it's got some issues with pacing, um, which can be a problem. But overall, I think it's a good, solid, strong movie. I'm going to give it four out of five stars.